Getting close to game time in South Florida. It's Interleague Baseball, next on the show. The sun is out and we've got blue skies in the forecast in South Florida as we welcome you to this edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we say thank you to fathers everywhere. Father's Day here at the ballpark and we've got a good one for the dads here in attendance as it'll be the New York Yankees taking on the Florida Marlins. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call the action. Alongside me, trusty colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Dave is the veteran member of our booth. We turn to you first. What catches your eye in this matchup? Well, one guy that's going to bear watching is Cameron Mabin. Remember, he was involved in that big trade for Miguel Cabrera and Dontrell Willis a few years back. But after some time in the minors, he appears to be all systems go at the big league level now. Watch his progress this year. All right, Dave, thanks. Rex, we'll get to you in a moment. But first, Majestic brings us the starting lineup for the visiting New York Yankees. And Nick Swisher's coming off a down year, so keep an eye on how he's progressing. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, a guy that's won double-digit ball games in seven of his first eight seasons, the all-star right-hander Ben Sheets. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. And you see Derek Jeter make his way to the box as we are just about set for baseball. And we are underway as Jeter looks at a pitch that misses ball one. And getting this guy going is going to be a real key if these guys want to turn things around. First pitch, 106. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. A two one offering. Called strike that time and it's even a two and two. And this guy's 0 for 6 in the series thus far so he's got to be about due to come through. low so a good eye there as he works the count back full and he's making him throw a lot of pitches to open up the game here guys get to see what he's got and that misses ball four so a good battle to begin the ball game today but the leadoff man will reach first anyway Jorge Posada will be the batter the ground for Ramirez this could be two to Ugla for one on to first and they get them both uh, and this is something you don't want to see we mentioned at the top of the broadcast that he was going to try to play through the hamstring injury but it certainly looks from up here that he's re-aggravated it somehow Alfredo Omezaga will try and loosen up here as he'll take over at short following the injury Alex Rodriguez steps in now there's a strike at the knees 0 and 1 that's a good pitch just a get me over breaking ball guys are not ready to hit that pitch he's back on his heels
good break to that one, and he's in command, nothing in two. Another one, back-to-back -back breakers. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. A good first inning of work there for Ben Sheets. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. A look there at the Marlins starting lineup as put together by their skipper Freddy Gonzalez. And here's a guy that really holds the keys to the offense. Keeping him off base is going to be a must. They'll be opposed by the starter turned reliever turned starter again, right-hander Jabba Chamberlain. Hard to find a more intense individual on the mound than the 230-pound Chamberlain. Also hard to find a guy who throws much harder as Jabba routinely clocks that fastball in the high 90s. A look there at the Yankees defensively, anchored by three-time Gold Glove winner Derek Jeter at shortstop. Leadoff hitter is set as we begin the bottom of the first. No. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. He'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. And what could be better than to spend the first official day of summer out here at the yard? Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And he knew on that 0-2 count he didn't have to throw him a strike, at least not right away. But on 2-2 two and two now, I think he's going to have to come in with one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Bare-handed pickup, and they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Cameron Maven will get his first cuts here. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Back is Matsui, but this ball's off the wall. Manny Ramirez will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. In there at the letters 0-1. Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. <laughs> Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And, and this is how you bounce back from back-to-back -back hits. He could use a punch out here. And he misses there, one and two. And on one and two, you wonder if maybe he's saving that good slider of his to use as his punch out pitch. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. Boy, and that never even threatened the strike zone. You at least gotta make him sweat a little.
And uh, wow, I'm not sure A, how you take that, and B, how it's not a strike. Three and two now. Hmm, and Ed Coleman's a guy that's gonna make you bring it down as a pitcher. He won't give you that high strike. Dan Ugla waits on deck. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Teixeira is over and he puts it away for the first down. Our umpire and crew for this afternoon's contest. Behind the plate is the crew chief, Ed Coleman. Dallas Hodges is at first. Max Stafford will handle second. And Raleigh McClure gets the assignment at third base. So it's second and third with one gone now. And that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, trying to run that thing in on the hands. Good eye. And this is just off the outside corner ball, too. Well, it looks like he's pitching around Ugly here, and that might be one of the smartest decisions all game long. Runners are at second and third with one down. Two and one. And at the plate, he's just one for seven in the series, so he's in a bit of a cold spell. Here he comes on two and one. And he misses again, ball three. And a walk is not the worst thing that could happen here. Four as Ugla is aboard. Jorge Cantu digs in now with a chance to do a little damage and give his club the lead in the early going. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. And the good news is they have the bases loaded, but the bad news is this guy is a definite double play candidate. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Down and away, ball one. You're looking awfully erratic out there right now. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. And he's digging his own hole in the mound now. In there, and it's even now, two and two. And that's in there at 95. Won't see any of those in batting practice. Swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. Step on the back for one. Back to Teixeira, and it's not in time as they just get the one. He knew that all he needed was a ground ball to get the run home, but he was able to drive him in. Jeremy Hermida will be the batter. Swing and a ball pulled into right. There is Cabrera as he takes this one in, and the inning is over. So it's one run on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. The Marlins lead it one to nothing. Mark Teixeira will take his hacks now, and as you see, leads the American League in home runs. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. Oh. 
And this guy's had a great month power-wise so far with seven dingers in the month alone. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. And this is not a guy that'll get himself out. You're gonna have to come to him at some point. Line hard to center field. And the Yankees have their first hit of the ball game. Hideki Matsui will get his first shot at it here. Ball one. Outside. Let's keep him close. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. Yeah, good crossfire action on the fastball there. No contact there, and it's one and two. And he's given them three straight fastballs, but it could very well be the curveball they call on here. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Nobody out, runner on first. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So a runner at first with one man gone and set to stand in the fine second baseman Robinson Cano. Boy, still some zip to the fastball from Sheets as he gets ahead, no balls and a strike. And he's just one for eight at the plate here in the series, so he needs to turn things around. And that misses one and one. behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. On, he can't track it down as this ball falls. And he'll make it over to third base safely, so that puts runners at the corners with only one gone. Nick Swisher will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Big rip by Swisher, but he comes up empty. It's 0-2. Okay, now with two strikes, you can put aside the thought of the double play ball and really go after the strikeout. And this is low, but I don't think the runners will be able to move much here. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Runners are at first and third, one away. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Turns on one and rips it down the line. Amezaga for one. 
On to the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3-6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. So it's no run on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on. On now to the bottom of the second. The Marlins lead this one one to nothing. John Baker will start things off in the bottom of the second. him out with a slider for a strike. Boy, what better way to spend a Sunday afternoon than at the old ballpark? One and one. And sometimes you use one pitch to set up another. Let's see if they challenge him here. Tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Ooh, that's some serious mozzarella there. Here it comes. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to bury that slider on the hands, but he started this one much too far inside. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Gabby Sanchez digs in at the plate. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. the gap in left center and this is going to find the gap and head out past the teal monster for extra bases but he'll be in there with a double Ben Sheets will stand in and you have to figure that he'll likely be swinging the bat now Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And a good chance to really help himself out here early on. Now a fastball is hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Alfredo Omeziga will bat here. No official at bat, but he's scored a run thus far. And here's the first pitch. Lays off 1 0. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. That's too high, ball two. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a green light here, 2-0, oh, especially with a guy in scoring position. <laughs> 2-0 oh is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 oh now. 
And it looks like he's just not really in rhythm right now. Here it comes, 3-0. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. And now time for a visit from the pitching coach. And everyone in the ballpark knows he's going to tell him, quit walking, guys. Let's go. Cameron Maven will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Now a ball lined back over second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins on top, one to nothing. Melky Cabrera ready to go here as we begin the third. And the breaking ball by Sheets gets him ahead there, 0-1. And, and he's got that thing moving pretty good here in the first few innings. The pitch. And this ball is pulled on the ground down the line to first. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Boy, a good diving effort here. As you can see, this ball just barely gets by him at first and down the line. Pretty good job, though, out and right to get to this ball quickly and hold him to just a leadoff single. Jabba Chamberlain will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Now a bunt attempt and it looks like a good one. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Derek Jeter will step in now. First pitch on the way. And that misses ball one. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs, a ball and a strike. And in a one-nothing game early, both guys are making some good pitches here. Comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw on to first, and Jeter is set down for the second out of the inning. Man at second here with two away, and in steps Posada. And this is low, but it's looked in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. But fortunately, no advance.
Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. And this is the guy you want right here because you'd much prefer to have A-Rod lead off the next inning. Posada awaits the one and one. On ah, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Coming through at 94 on the gun. That thing's a blur right now. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. But fortunately, no advance. Ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that should tie our ball game as this is down for extra bases. Now Maven gets it in here off the wall. Alex Rodriguez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And this pitching staff's done a pretty good job with him in the series. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get in the comfort level up there. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, all tied at one and one. Manny Ramirez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And that misses for ball one. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. Sign from Posada. Now the one and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Slice down the line at first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. So one gone now for Dan Ugla. Ah! 
And here's a good fastball from Chamberlain. It's nothing and one. Might have just been looking at one there because that's the pitch you can normally handle. And now pitch on the way. And he lays off for ball one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Boy, that thing's really moving sharply at the end. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And that misses two and two. And this guy's a grinder up there. You know he'll give you a tough at bat. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. Ah, got him lunging that time as he pushes one on the ground a second. And this is bobbled now by Cano. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring in the third baseman, Jorge Cantu. Here's the first offering. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 tie. Outside for a ball, one and one. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. He's got to be careful not to overstride into a pitch on his hands like that. <laughs> ball hit out to left field and deep. Matsui turns, gives it a look, but this ball is going to sail out of here. A two-run shot for Jorge Cantu. Home run number 16 for him on the year as they have taken the lead. It's 3-1. to one. Jeremy Hermida stands in as he can't connect here 0-1. And we've all seen guys lose their composure after giving up a two-run homer, but he cannot let that happen. And Jabba's fastball swung on and hit to Jeter at short. Throw to first gets Hermida as he's set down for the second out. John Baker will be the batter. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's a good slider from Jabba. It's 0-1. Boy, tough pitch right out of the chute in this at bat. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Hits are now even at four apiece. Out in front of the fastball here as he lifts a fly ball out toward right field. Waiting on it is Cabrera and he makes the catch to retire the side. So two runs on one hit and the one hit was a big one, the home run. Three innings complete. The Marlins lead it three to one. 
Mark Teixeira will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch coming. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Tough guy to face here to start this inning. And this is hit hard up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. And that's an important at-bat for a leadoff hitter. Down a couple runs, you got to just get on base and try to get something started. Hideki Matsui will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. something off there as this is skied out to fairly deep center field. Mabin has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Well, Matt, if he hits this ball down the line, it's probably a home run, but the center fielder is able to range back and put it away in deep center. Robinson Cano will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And he's just two for nine in the series thus far, so he could use a base hit here. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. At first, Teixeira, now the pitch. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A two-run shot here for Robinson Cano, number 10 for him on the year. And with it, the Yankees have tied this one at three. Oh. Nick Swisher is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. and oh. And if you're wondering, that's 53 pitches now through three and a third. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. Here's a swing and heads up as he had to hit the deck for dear life that time. Two and two now. And already we're seeing a lot of deep counts early in the ball game. These can really start to pile up if you're not careful. Here's the two and two offering. And now a swing and a miss and Swisher's down on strikes for out number two. Melky Cabrera will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And a ball, 1-0.
the 1-0 pitch. And this is ripped down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are all tied at three apiece. Gabby Sanchez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And this is hit sharply, but it'll be a foul ball past A-Rod at third. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Ben Sheets will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch to him. In there, no balls and a strike. Yeah, and when you get strike one on the corner, you can expand that strike zone right away. One out, nobody on. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Here's the one one. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well, the good news is, is he picks up a base hit to help his own cause. The bad news is that he'll have to run the bases now, so you wonder if that might possibly take him out of his rhythm a bit. Alfredo Omezaga will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Now the first pitch. And a foul ball straight back. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. And they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now and somebody get a key and unlock the shackles on his arms that's an awful swing there from the stretch and this bounces to Posada but he's able to get a handle on it quickly but fortunately no advance toward right center and that is going to be a base hit and A-Rod applies the tag he's out at third base well he thinks he's got a good shot at taking third here but that outfielder's got other ideas that was a perfect throw So two men are gone here on the floor to fourth, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Maben. Four one. This fourth day is not starting out any better than the third did. Two 
2-0. Well, base open here, so we might not see something good. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2-1. Oh, and he's got a legitimate gripe there. I don't know about that one. Both teams with six hits so far. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. And after two hits earlier in the inning, this would be a big letdown if they don't score here. 77 pitches now for Jabba so far. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. One left for Florida. Four innings in the books, tied 3-3. Chaba Chamberlain will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And these AL pitchers certainly don't get that much time in the batting cage. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. And after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. Now the pitch. And this could be a tough play back behind the mound. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in steps Derek Jeter. Too low, 1-0. and And after you allow a base hit to the pitcher, you've got to bounce back quickly and put it out of your mind. Watches one split the middle here, one and one. Big gap on the right side if Jeter can steer one that way. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. There to play it is Hermita as he puts it away for the first down. So a runner at first with one man gone. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Jorge Posada. And he lays off there, 1-0. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Down and in. Not hard to lay off that one, and it's 3-0. and oh. And I imagine that Joe Girardi will go ahead and green light him here on 3-0. and oh. That one's in there, three and one. Oh, he's wishing that take sign wasn't on. Let me hack. Three one on the way. 
On the ground is short. This could be two to Ugla for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Manny Ramirez will step in to lead things off here. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Alfredo Aceves is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Manny Ramirez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. And if guys are going to go ahead and wear that armor on their elbow, they better expect to get backed off the plate every now and then. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. And now on the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a high pop-up right near the mound. And A-Rod will look this one in for the first out. And this is a good lesson for young pitchers out there. You don't always have to get a swing through on every pitch. Here he throws a beautiful changeup to upset the hitter's timing and gets him to loft an easy pop-up. Dan Ugla steps in now. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. Bases are empty, one man out. The next pitch. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, and he was barely able to hold back on that last pitch, but this time he just couldn't help himself. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd, foul. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Jorge Cantu will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. First offering on the way. And a way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And he's definitely trying to stay on that outer third. Comes set. Now the pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Yeah, he got him to go halfway after that curveball on the previous pitch. This time, he says, no dice.
swing hard liner to left center. And he is going to reach. It's a base hit. Jeremy Hermida will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And a strike at the knees, more like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. Pretty generous call there. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. And, and this guy has just about disappeared at the plate in this series, 0 for 9. Pause, now the pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up, ball one. Boy, almost had the strikeout he needed. Good eye that time by Hermida as the count evens at two. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. A double play ball here for Ray Rod. Cano for one. Back to Teixeira, and it's not in time as they just get the one. John Baker will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And this ball will be chopped foul. From the belt, the pitch, and this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Trying to work that thing back to the outer half. Good spot. <laughs> Fastball called strike, one and two. fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And a diving attempt there by Cano, but he can't pull it in. A base hit. And this is a veteran move here by Captain Derek Jeter to just stop by the mound for a quick second for a few words of encouragement for his young pitcher. Gabby Sanchez will step in, one for two in the ball game. that he takes the other way onto fairly deep right. Cabrera will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Marlins lead this one four to three. Yankees coming up to start the sixth, but first, let's take a look at our upper deck in-game box score. Alex Rodriguez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. 
And these guys could really use a leadoff base runner here. And he can't get A-Rod to bite on it. It's 2-0. and And 2-0 and is not where you want to be with A-Rod at the plate. And this is hit hard on the ground toward short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Leadoff man gone, and that's a good sign on the mound. You see his numbers to this point, five and a third innings pitch, three runs allowed, but it looks like he's starting to settle in a bit. So one gun in the inning now, and here's the always dangerous Mark Teixeira. Hard to the left side, but foul. Right. And here's a fastball called for strike two. And one thing you can say about him on the mound, he certainly has been the aggressor in this at bat, coming right after him. Fastball and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. And sometimes you got to do this to keep that guy off the plate. One out, nobody on. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, he's made it through two-thirds of these three, four, and five hitters. Let's see if he can set them down in order. So the bases are empty with two gone for Hideki Matsui. Ball one. Yeah, when guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Robinson Cano will step in now. Two for two, including a home run thus far. And a curveball in for a strike. And that first pitch breaking ball has really been effective for him all afternoon. Matsui leads from first the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Two out with the man at first. And this one's inside and high, one and two now. Well, that might just be a Missouri fastball. In other words, a show-me fastball, because I think he wants to get him out with a changeup. He's set, now the pitch. Grounded softly towards the hole. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Marlins on top, four to three.
And before the Marlins take their cuts, it's time once again to check out our in-game box score. Pudge Rodriguez is going to move into the on-deck circle as he'll bat for the pitcher's sheets here. off a fastball here in a good spot but ruled the ball 1 and 0. Now a bullet toward third and this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. You know, Matt, this is all about keeping in the game when you're on the bench. He knew he'd likely be called on at some point, and he comes through here with extra bases. Alfredo Omezaga will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. And they'll keep working that outside part of the plate here because they want him to hit one on the left side instead of the right. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Cameron Maven will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. Fastball in there for a called strike. And remember, this guy doubled earlier in the afternoon. He could go for another one here. He's ready. Now the pitch. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. And whatever you do, you've got to put the ball in play and get that run home from third. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball 1-2. and two. Pretty well-placed fastball there on 0-2. That's a good take. In the dirt, but good hands back there by Posada as he's able to pounce on it quickly. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. And you'll get a good look at this cutter. Watch as it just runs in over the inside part of the plate. You almost can't help but lay off that one. So a runner at third, two men are out, and here comes Manning. First pitch fastball runs a bit too high, it's ball one. And this is the guy you gotta get right here. Two outs here with a runner at third. The 1 0 to Ramirez. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, put that change up in his eyes. See if he'll go get it. And the 
dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate, and that'll keep the runner at third. And as it turns out, he won't test it. Now the three and two pick. Now a bullet foul as the third base coach had to give it the old Ole that time. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And that's going to find a crease for extra bases and it ought to open up this lead to two. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Jose Veras will slide in now and try and work out of this one. Dan Ugla will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. is low ball one and how tough is it to come in right out of the pen and have to face this guy and he misses again two and oh with two outs and a base open they may just be working around him here Two zero on the way, and there's ball three. Maddie's come right out of the pen, throwing nothing but balls. He better settle down quickly. And he gets this fastball over. Back to three and one now. Still a base open here, so you don't have to come in with one if you don't want to. And he's taking here and looks at strike two right down the middle. Mm, didn't like that one either. He's taking this about as far as it can go now. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah, he was really squeezed on that last one. Posada's going to hustle out here to give him a little pat on the back. Jorge Kentu to get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. And these guys better hope his location clears itself up pretty soon. And can two won't offer it that one either. It's 2-0. and And it's imperative that you get a good jump out there at second right now and first for that matter. taken the other way but this should be routine out there in right field Cabrera is there and he'll put it away to retire the side so one run here on two hits no errors and two men left on base seventh inning coming up the Marlins lead it five to three A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout, left-hander Taylor Tankersley. Nick Swisher will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Swisher. 
And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And he's got a five-game hitting streak at the plate that's starting to come into jeopardy. All right, guys, let's do it. Come on. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Change up and he can't buy a strike here, three and oh. Well, here's where that old phrase, a walk is as good as a hit, really applies. Just get on somehow. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Melky Cabrera will step in, a ground-out victim as last time. Lays off 1-0. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. Let's do it! Take sign must have been on there, because that's right down the middle, strike one. Just trying to find something that works here. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To Ugla for one. Back to first and that'll take care of Cabrera. It's a double play. And I believe we'll see a pinch hitter now as X Nady has grabbed a bat and moved into the on deck circle. Now here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. Played there by Cantu. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. Florida's out in front, 5-3. And we'll have a pitching change here as Damaso Marte now takes over on the mound. Jeremy Hermida will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Fielder, Jeremy Hermida. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. And this is their fourth pitcher of the afternoon, so there's not much left after this. Now here's the pitch. is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And they can't run it down. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. And this will land foul. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Got him. The slurve that time, and that'll be the first out of the inning. John Baker will step in, a base hit in his last time. First pitch coming. 
And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And that's a power fastball right there at 94. He really slings it in there. And a fastball here is swung on and lifted in the air to left. And Matsui will tuck this one away for route number two. Gabby Sanchez will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And this has been a great inning out of the pen. Let's see if he can finish it strong. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. Train's already left the station, pal. You got to get on board earlier. And certainly no offer at that one. It's one and two. And a lot of times, this is where he likes to elevate that fastball and try to get guys to chase. Oh, hit hard on the ground is short. And that is past a diving Jeter for a base hit. Cody Ross will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch coming. And he takes ball one. Swing and a ball hit high and deep to left center. And this will be over the keel monster for a home run. So a two-run shot to left center, number 11 for him on the season, as it is now 7-3. to three. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautiful plate, one single. Cameron Maven will step in, one for four in the ballgame. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And this is something we have not seen. He needs to attack a little harder here early in the count. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. Teixeira just does this himself at first, and that'll do it. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Marlins lead this one seven to three. New pitcher set to go now. It's the young righty out of Texas A&M, Logan Kenzie. Derek Jeter will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. low for ball one and it's going to be up to the top of the order here to get things rolling in the eighth fastball misses badly there and he's behind two and oh he's got to find a way to get on any way he can
And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. And he was probably just taken till he got a strike there. Against a guy that just came in, not a bad idea. Ready with the 2-1. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Jorge Posada will get another crack, one for three thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Running out of outs here. They need to get something started in a hurry. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And there's out number two. Alex Rodriguez will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. toward right center and A-Rod has a base hit Mark Teixeira will get another shot struck out swinging his last time Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and And you don't want to let things get away from you here. You've got to keep your focus when you're pitching with the lead. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And this is the game within the game here. Do you keep pitching around him on 2-0 and or come back at him with something? to the bag and he'll get dirty but he's back in safely oh and Ed Coleman's strike zone is contracting as we speak it's 3-0 and now boy that looked pretty good you hate to give this guy extra strikes to work with Now the 3-0 offering. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. Hideki Matsui will get another shot. Hit by a pitch his last time. And this is taken outside for ball one. He's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Fastball upstairs here that runs it to 2 and 0. Oh. Come on now. You need some strikes here. We got two men are on with two men out. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. One more of those, and that'll get the tie and run to the plate. Right. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Payoff pitch coming. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Boy, really making.
making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. It's softly to the right side. And a close play at first, but he's pulled out and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Marlins lead it 7-3. Manny Ramirez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Swing and a soft liner back up the middle. And that is past a diving Jeter for a base hit. Well, sometimes it's easy to say the pitcher made a mistake. He did not make a mistake on that one. That was a good pitch in a good spot. Sometimes you just tip your cap and move on. Edouard Ramirez is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Dan Ugla will step in, one for two in the ball game. Where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. And this is the fifth pitcher they've used in the ball game. So that bullpen's getting awfully lonely down there. And 2-0 and oh as this one's taken low. Having a hard time finding the strike zone here to start the eighth. Something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. But fortunately, no advance. Ah! And he gets the call there, three and one. And they're very wisely keeping everything down here. The 3-1 is on the way. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And you talk about taking the bat out of a guy's hands. That's the third time they've walked him in the ball game. Jorge Cantu to try again. Two for four in the ball game. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Third hit of the ball game. His second single. And of course, he had that home run earlier. They just can't get him out. Jeremy Hermida will have a shot to really put this one out of reach now with the bases loaded. Misses inside, 1-0. And, oh. and Hermita hit a salami in his first Major League at bat. He's got a shot for another one here. And 
the runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And at 2-0 and now, Matt, this situation's quickly going from bad to worse. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Yeah, he needed that one. Something to give him a little confidence. The 2-1. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Good idea with the circle change, but he lays off and the count runs full. And he's just a pitch away now. He's just unraveling here. John Baker is on deck. The 3-2 pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Rodriguez battles the sun a bit, but has it for round number one. John Baker will stand in. He flew out his last time up. On the ground for Cano. This could be two. Jeter. On to Teixeira, and it's in time for the double play. The side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. The Marlins on top, 7-3. to three. Robinson Cano will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And here in the ninth, it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. Now here it comes. And there's ball one. Ben Sheets in line for the victory, barring any late turn of events. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Nick Swisher will be the batter. 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. And here's the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. And I think the umps want to get out of here, too. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Melky Cabrera will stand in as their last chance now. Here's the first offering. Yeah, and he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And that's 
taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Two strikes, two outs. Time to turn it loose now. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Trying to get Cabrera to chase there, but it's one and two. <laughs> and a collective exhale from this crowd. Lays off two and two now. Two, two, two outs, a four run lead. I think he comes right at him here. Two out, nobody on. 2-2 pitch on the way. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Go the other way with the fastball as this is on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, and this was a good victory for these guys this afternoon. They really earned the win in front of their home fans. Well, and the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our upper deck player of the game. Man, he was a tough out up there in this one. Three hits, including a home run, and without him, this might have been a different game. So that'll just about do it. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more, log on to MLB09.com. The Marlins win it 7-3. Highlights of our game are coming up next as the three of us say so long from Miami.